Hi everyone, this is Chandan and welcome to Chandan Logics. In this video, we are going to solve 30 simplification questions in just 10 minutes of time. And whatever the questions we are going to solve in this video are nothing but the questions that was asked in recent examinations. And one more important thing, if you are looking for Telugu videos, then subscribe to our new YouTube channel Chandan Logics Telugu. We have provided our new YouTube channel link in the description. Okay? So what we will be doing is like we will solve total 30 simplification questions and we will solve all these 30 questions in just 10 minutes of time. And whatever the questions we are going to solve in this video are nothing but the questions that was asked in recent RRB exams, RBI exams and SBI exams. We will solve all the questions that was asked in RRB, SBI RB examinations total 30 questions based upon simplifications in just 10 minutes of time while solving these questions I will not explain you the complete concept I will explain you the smart way to solve these questions why because many of the guys feel uncomfortable while doing calculations truly speaking if you are smart even if you does not know the calculation you can able to manage your answer yes it's true we will be showing you smart and unique tricks while solving these questions. But while you are solving these questions, you need to be good in your basics. Already many of you are good in your basics. If you are not good in basics, already we have done one video on simplification. You can watch that video where we are going to start it from very basics onwards. Okay. So while we start, before we start, while solving questions from simplifications, you need to follow Bodmas rule. Right. So most of you know that Bodmas rule is really important while solving questions from simplifications. So what Bodmas rule says is like, while you are solving questions from simplification, first preference will be B. B means brackets. Next O means off. Next division followed by multiplication, addition and subtraction. While you are solving the questions, you need to follow the same order. Brackets of division multiplication addition subtraction based upon bodmas rule you need to solve all simplification questions you can't do calculations as of your wish okay so we'll start it and before we start one more important thing already we have started new batch for ibps po and clerk if any of you guys are interested you can download channel logics app from google play store or you can contact the given number okay so let us start our first question so what first question is saying first question is nothing but 20% of 1500 plus 22.5% of 1000 equal to how much this is a very simple question just by looking at the question itself we can mark answer as 525 right why because very simple look here 20% of 1500 10% is 150, 20% will be 300 plus 22.5% of 1000 is nothing but 225. Now 300 plus 225 is nothing but 525, just simple question. And this was the question that was asked in RBI assistant examination. Let's look at the next one. 80% of open brackets 1.5 into 4 plus question mark equal to 24 we ask you to find what is the question mark if you observe here 80 percent of what is 24 we know that 80 percent of 80 percent of 30 is same as 30 percent of 80 right 80 percent of 30 or 30 percent of 80 both of them are same why because x percent of y is same as y percent of x now if you look here 80 percent of 30 is nothing but 24 similarly 30 percent of 80 is nothing but 24 which means 80 percent of this value should be 30 then i can say that 80 percent of 30 equal to 24 which means this value should be 30 if you observe here 1.5 into 4 is 6 but i need 30 then 6 plus how much is 30 6 plus 24 is 30 so i can simply say that this question mark is nothing but 24 very simple question 
just you need to know that 80% of 30 is same as 30% of 80. So, 80% of 30 is 24, which means this whole should be 30. Already you have 6, so 6 plus 24 will be 30, okay? Let's look at the next one. Next question is 7 1 by 2 minus 2 1 by 2 equal to 50 by question mark. We are asked you to find what is this question mark. Most of the guys what they do is like convert this mixed fraction to normal fraction. Normal fraction means 7 1 by 2 will be 7 2 times 14. 14 plus 1 15, 15 by 2. So they will take it as 15 by 2. But when you are trying to convert this mixed fraction to normal fraction, you are trying to do this sum complicated. Really this is simple question. Don't make it complicated. If it is simple, make it as, as simple as that. Don't make complicated. Okay. So that is reason I will not convert into mixed fraction. Simply if you observe here, plus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 gets cancelled. Okay. Now this is 7 minus 2. 7 minus 2 is 5. 50 cancels in 5 10 times. Which means our question mark is nothing but 10. As simple as that. That is the reason in examination while you are solving the questions, you need to be smart. When you are smart and your thoughts are unique, then you can solve these questions in very simple manner. If you are not going to think smart, then what you will do is like, you will try to do simple questions also complicated. So never do that in examination. Next question, square root of 80% of 500 plus 21 into 4 plus 416 equal to how much? Now look here, 80% of 500 is how much? 10% is 50. So 80% is nothing but 400 plus 21 into 4 is nothing but 84 plus 416. Now if you add it together, this is nothing but 900. Now this is square root of 900. What is square root of 900? Answer is nothing but 30. Very simple question. Just if you observe here, all these are basic things, basic calculations. But what you need is like, you need to be fast. When you are good in your basics, you can solve these questions in just 2 seconds of time. Okay. Let's look at your next question. Next question is 0 0.05 into 6.25 divided by 2.5 equal to how much? Just by looking at the question, I can say answer is 0 0.125. Even calculation is also not required if you really observe here. But as I need to explain you, I am explaining you just observe here. Now this is 0 0.05 into 6.25 divided by 2.5. Now actually, if it is 625, then 25 cancels here 25 times. Why? Because 25 square is 625. But this is not 625. It is 6.25. Now 6.25 get cancelled in 2.5. How many times means 2.5 times. Right? Now if it is 25 and this is 5. 25 into 5 will be 125. But this is not 25. It is 2.5. And this is 0 0.05. If you observe here, after decimal point, I have one digit. After decimal point, I have two digit. When both of them multiply, after decimal point, I need to have two plus one, three digits. Now this will be 0 0.125. So I can directly say it as 0 0.125. Very simple question. Truly speaking, this calculation is also not required if I am going to write the examination. Okay. Let's look at the next one. 3080 plus 6160 divided by question mark is equal to 330. We need to say what is this question mark. If you observe here, I can simply neglect this 0. 0, 0, 0. So neglect it. Why? Because even if I have that 0, it does not make any change. That is the reason neglect it. And if you are going to add them, if you are going to add it, this will be 8 plus 6. 8 plus 6 will be 14, where last digit will be 4. 4 by question mark is equal to how much last digit is 3. I am doing only last digit. I am not doing complete calculation. Okay. So if you look here, if I verify last digit, LHS should be equal to RHS. Okay. This is what we have learned in our childhood. LHS should be equal to RHS. Now this division operation, if it goes here, it convert to multiplication. So that is the reason what happened. Division operation will be converted into multiplication. 
now left hand side last digit is 4 right hand side last digit also should be 4 3 multiplied with number and i need last digit as 4 look here 3 into 6 3 into 6 is 18 where last digit is 8 wrong answer 3 into 2 is nothing but 6 last digit is 6 wrong answer 3 into 8 is nothing but 24 where last digit is 4 so left hand side and right hand side both of them are matching now if you look here this is 9 3 into 9 is 27 where last digit is 7 wrong answer now if you look here again i got 8 here if you observe here even here I have last digit as 8, even here I have last digit as 8. Now many of the students get confused here, whether to mark 28 or 18. But truly speaking, you will not be worried. So always you need to be smart. If you are getting two digits, sorry, two options, same last digit, try to go with some other calculation. If you observe here, don't try to do calculation. Just use your common sense. Your common sense will give you an answer. Okay. If you observe here, this is approximately 300, this is approximately 600, 300 plus 600 is nothing but 900, 900 divided by. Now look here, this is how much, this is when I neglect this 0, approximately this is nothing but 33 can be taken as 30, when I take it as 30, 900 gets cancelled in 30, how many times? 30 times right which means our answer should be close to 30 as our answer should be close to 30 18 is eliminated so i can say that simply answer is 28 so that is the reason if you don't know the calculations and if you're smart in using your common sense even using your common sense you can mark the answer always you do not do the calculation when you're getting same last year try to use your common sense you have common sense right so when you use your common sense you can eliminate one of the option and finally you'll come across the conclusion right let's look at the next one next one is like 2 by 7 into 5 by 6 into 3 by 8 into question mark equal to 90 so we are asked you to find what is this question mark if you observe here 2 into 3 is 6 so gets cancelled okay now we observe here 90 cancels in 5 how many times 18 times now don't do calculation just verify last digit if you verify last digit you'll come to know what is question mark if you verify last digit 7 and 8 are in division when they go to right hand side it will convert to multiplication now this will be 7 8 times 56 last digit is 6 6 8 times 48 last digit should be 8 if you observe here all the digits are having same last digit all the digits are having same last digit what i will be doing is like now i will do digital sum already you know what is digital sum digital sum is nothing but whatever the number you have you need to add all of them together and you need to make it a single digit if you observe here all of them are having 888 that is the reason i'm doing digital sum okay so i will just explain what is digital sum let us example you have one two five seven three four if someone asks you what is digital sum or what is digital sum for this particular number digital sum is nothing but you need to add all these numbers and you need to convert into single digit now this is like a concept okay now what we'll be doing is like while you're adding them if any of the numbers combine together make it as some nine you can neglect this nine okay if you observe here two plus seven is nine neglect it five plus four is nine neglect it Finally, you have 3 plus 1, which is nothing but 4. So, digital sum for this number is nothing but 4. Even if you want, you can add it. Even if you add, you will get digital sum as 4. Let us add it. If you add it, 7 plus 3 will be 10. 5 plus 1 plus 4, this will be 10. So, 10 plus 10, 20. 20 plus 2, 22. 22 is a double digit number. In digital sum, always you need to get only single digit. So, what do you need to do? convert this double digit to single digit now 22 again you add 2 plus 2 will be 4 okay so that is the reason you are getting digital sum as 4 so while you are doing always you need to do whole calculation simply what you will do is like while you are doing digital sum you just concentrate on sum 9 if any of the numbers combine together 9 you can simply neglect them and you can calculate digital sum for the remaining numbers now this is like a concept we will come across with this particular concept in one more video okay as of now how digital sum application will be useful here just observe it now this is like 
if i multiply 7 into 8 into 18 now if you observe here 1 plus 8 is nothing but 9 9 multiplied with any number digital sum will be always 9 yes if you want you can check it 9 multiplied with any number always digital sum will be 9 now that is the reason as a question digital sum is 9 option digital sum also should be 9 if option digital sum should be 9 look here here digital sum is 2 this is wrong answer here digital sum is 9 this can be our answer here digital sum is 3 wrong answer here digital sum is 7 wrong answer here digital sum is 7 wrong answer which means option b is going to be answer so what we can conclude is even if you does not know how to multiply the number 7 into 8 into 18 if you does not know how to multiply the number even it is not an issue when when you have common sense and smart techniques then obviously without doing calculation also you can mark the right answer that is the reason always try to be smart and unique if you are smart and if you are unique even without knowing the calculation even without knowing the exact answer you can go on using your common sense and you can solve these questions in just two seconds of time okay we'll come across digital sum video in the next session okay let's look at the next question 1 2 by 7 minus 3 4 by 7 plus 18 1 by 2 equal to x by 7 plus 15 1 by 2 we are supposed to find what is the value of x if you observe here look here this is like try to calculate integer value separate fraction value separate don't convert this mixed fraction into a normal fraction if you observe here this is like 18 minus 3 18 minus 3 is 15 now look here 15 15 gets cancelled okay why because 18 minus 3 will be 15 now this is 15 and this is 15 so get cancelled now this is cancelled this cancel and this one also cancel now finally you are left out with look here plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 gets cancelled why because as you have equal to this is on the left hand side this is on the right hand side both of them gets cancelled now finally you are left out with 1 2 by 7 1 2 by 7 is nothing but 9 by 7 minus 4 by 7 is equal to how much x by 7 okay if you take lcm then what happen 9 minus 4 is nothing but 5 by 7 so 5 by 7 is equal to x by 7 we are supposed to find value of x value of x is nothing but 5 very simple question even this calculation is not required just for the purpose of understanding i have explained it if you observe here simply 1 2 by 7 is same as 9 by 7 9 by 7 minus 4 by 7 is 5 by 7 already 7 and 7 so this is like 5 by 7 is equal to x by 7 so 7 7 gets cancelled we can simply say that value of x is nothing but 5 okay let's look at the next question now this is a very simple question based upon addition okay by just looking at the question we can mark the answer answer is nothing but 1 2 3 double 4 why because if you observe here when you are adding try to always come across with last digit if you look here i have units place units place units place units place units place four times so units place should be four now this is four this is four this is four this is not four and this is four if you look at tens place tens place one two three four tens place also should be four here you have four here you don't have four here you don't have four here also you have four look at hundreds place hundreds place one two three it should be three but here it is two so wrong answer and if you observe here this is three so i can say that finally option one two three double four will be your answer just by looking at the question and this was the question that was asked in rrb clerk prelims 2019 examination okay just by looking at that you can mark the answer in fraction of seconds let's look at the next one we need to find this question mark value look here square root of 1 triple 4 square root of 1 triple 4 is nothing but 38 and you need to know how to calculate square root as well these are like basic things 38 plus if you observe here 676 676 nothing but square root of 676 26 now divide by 4 38 plus 26 is 64 
64 by 4 is nothing but 16 which means question mark square is nothing but 16 then question mark is nothing but 4 okay so you can simply mark it as answer as 4 very simple question just you need to know what is square root of 1 triple 4 and what is square root of 676 when you add both of them together it will be 64 64 divided by 4 will be 16 so question mark square is 16 then question mark will be square root of 16 which is nothing but 4 okay let's look at your next question 18 plus 512 minus 128 equal to x square equal to sorry plus x square equal to 802 and we are supposed to find what is the value of x if you want you can uh, just verify the last digit if you verify the last digit look here 8 plus 2 is nothing but 10 10 means last digit is 0 okay 0 minus 8 plus x square is equal to 2 if you look here 0 means when I am subtracting this will be 10 why because I can't subtract from 0 so 10 minus 8 is nothing but 2 2 plus x square is equal to 2 now my left hand side should be 2 why because right hand side last digit is 2 as right hand side last digit is 2 left hand side also should be 2 already I have 2 here as already I have 2 here now this should be 0 as this should be 0 now look here which is going to give last digit 0 last digit 0 only 20 will give us last digit 0 why because 2 square will be 4 6 square will be 36 last digit will be 6 so no other number gives us last digit 0 only 20 square 400 last digit will be 0 that is reason in this x square place it should be 400 which means x value x value is nothing but simply 20 very simple question just don't try to do calculation instead of doing calculation simply verify last digit when you verify last digit if you observe 8 plus 2 is 10 so 10 minus 8 10 minus 8 is nothing but 2 left hand side last digit should be equal to right hand side last digit now 2 plus x square is equal to last digit to 2 as left as right hand side is 2 left hand side also should be 2 as this is 2 now this should be 0 2 plus 0 will be 2 okay that is the reason x this x should have last digit as 0 which means b should be 20 20 square will be 400 okay if you want you can do calculation also but without doing calculation also if you are smart you can mark the answer directly next question 486 divided by question mark into 7392 divided by 66 equal to 1008 so we are supposed to find what is the value of question mark even here last digit are different you can verify the last digit if you verify the last digit in 486 last digit is 6 6 by question mark 6 by question mark into 7392 last digit is 2 2 by here last digit is nothing but 6 okay is equal to last digit is nothing but 8 okay so just what you need to do is like just simplify it when you simplify it 6 2 times this will be 12 last digit will be 12 now this division operation converts to multiplication when it convert to multiplication this will be question mark into 6 into 8 now look here 6 into 8 is 48 where last digit is nothing but 8 which means if you observe here 8 should multiply with some number and i need to get last digit as 2 why because left hand side last digit should be equal to right hand side last digit now cross check 8 multiply with last digit and i need to get 2 8 4 times 8 4 times will be 32 last digit is 2 now if you look at 8 5 times 40 last digit is 0 8 2 times 16 last digit 6 8 3 times 24 last digit is 4 8 1 time 8 last digit is 8 so only 54 will satisfy the condition so i can simply say that answer is nothing but 54 even without doing the calculation you can mark the answer look here always examiner don't want you to do the calculation simple thing is like even if you does not know the calculation and if you are really good in your basics and if you are really smart enough to think then you can solve these questions without using your calculations as well okay let's look at the next question x square plus 4 whole square equal to 8 x square plus 97 we are asked to find what is the value of x square now what i will do is like instead of x square i will substitute it as y when I substitute x square as y, now this will be 
y plus 4 whole square is equal to 8y plus 97 right now this is in the form of a plus b whole square expand it now this will be y square plus 16 plus 8y is equal to 8y plus 97 8y 8y gets cancelled so when you simplify this one y square is equal to 97 minus 16 which is 81 so y is equal to 9 if value of y is 9 we already assume that x square is equal to y so x square value is also 9 okay very simple question just what you need to dislike assume x square is y and substitute you will come to know that value of x square is nothing but 9 okay let's look at the next one next question is nothing but square root of 4 into question mark is equal to 160 by 10 we are supposed to find what is the value of question mark now if you simplify here 160 by 10 is nothing but 16 right now if you look here 4 is a perfect square now square root of 4 is nothing but 2 2 into something something should be 16 okay you can say that this question mark should be a perfect square why because 4 is a perfect square so you came to know that square root of 4 is 2 now even this question mark should be a perfect square now perfect square in option you have only one perfect square which is 64 you can mark it as 64 or else 2 into 8 is nothing but 16 you know that 8 square 8 square is 64 even then you can mark it as 64 okay very simple question and look here if you guys like this session click on the like button and try to share our videos with as many friends as possible why because when you are sharing our videos with as many friends as possible it will be a real boost up for me in the next upcoming videos okay let's look at the next one 35 percent of 150 into 16 is equal to question mark minus 22 we are supposed to find what is the value of question mark now this minus 22 come to the other side it will be plus 22 now i need to find just question mark okay let's calculate 35 percent of 150 or 150 percent of 35 both of them will be same so what is 150 percent of 35 150 percent is nothing but 100 percent plus 15 percent right now this is nothing but 52.5 so this will be 52.5 into 16 plus 22 why because minus 22 come to the side this will be plus 22 is equal to question mark now if you simplify 52.5 into 16 is nothing but 840 840 plus 22 so answer is nothing but simply 862 very very simple question just don't make calculation complicated just what you do is like 35 percent of 150 or 150 percent of 35 both of them are same so 150 percent of 35 is nothing but 52.5 52.5 into 16 is nothing but 840 840 plus 22 so answer is nothing but 862 okay let's look at the next question question mark square is equal to 4 square plus 8 square minus 31 we need to know what is this question mark now either you can solve it or you can verify the last digit if you verify the last digit 4 square is 16 last digit is 6 okay now 8 square is 64 last digit is 4 minus here last digit is nothing but 1 okay now if you observe here 6 plus 4 is a 10 10 minus 1 10 minus 1 is nothing but 9 which means left hand sorry right hand side last digit is 9 right hand side last digit 9 means left hand side also should be 9 which means when I square a number, I need to get last digit as 9. Now, it is possible only for 7. Why? Because 7 square is 49, where last digit will be 9. If it is 6, 6 square is 36, last digit will be 6. But I need my right hand side last digit as 9. So, left hand side last digit also should be 9. Which means question mark square should give us last digit 9. So, 7 square is 49. So, I can say that simply answer is nothing but 7. Very simple question. You not do calculation also. Let's look at the next one. 360 by question mark equal to 12 into 6 minus 3 cube. Now we are supposed to find what is this question mark. Simply if you observe here, 12 into 6 is nothing but 72 minus 3 cube is nothing but 27. And we are supposed to find what is this question mark. Don't try to do calculation or you can do calculation. It's up to you. Now if you simplify, this will be 360 by now 72 minus 27 is nothing but 45 okay now what is this question mark now look here 360 cancels in 45 how many times eight times right why because 
45 into 8 is nothing but 360, which is 320 plus 40. That is nothing but 360. Very simple question. Just basic calculation. 12, 6 times is 72. Minus 3 cube is 27. 72 minus 27 is 45. So 360 by 45. 360 by 45 is nothing but 8. Okay. Next question. You are supposed to find what is the value of question mark. Now this is square root of 6 into 3 into 5 plus 50% of 620 is equal to how much? Now look here, 50% of 620 is nothing but 310 plus. If we observe here, 3 into 5 is 15, 15 into 6 is nothing but 90. Now 320 plus 90 is 400. So square root of 400, square root of 400 is nothing but 20. So simply we can say the answer is 20. Even this calculation is also not required. You can just observe the question and you can mark the answer in fraction of seconds. Okay. Let's look at the next one. 6 square equal to 18 into 8 minus question mark into 2 divided by 3. We are asked to find what is the value of question mark. Now, either you can calculate or you can verify the last digit. It's up to you. If you verify the last digit, 6 square is 36 where last digit is 6 into. This division operation, if it goes here, converts into multiplication into 3 is equal to 8, 8 times 64, last it will be 4, minus question mark into 2, okay. Now look here, 6, 3 times 18, 18 means last it will be 8, 8 is equal to 4 minus question mark into 2. Now look here, this is minus question mark into 2. Now what, if I take this to right hand side, now this will be, sorry, now this is on the right hand side, take it to left hand side. This will be question mark into 2 is equal to, when this 8 go to the other side, it will be minus 8. So now this will be 4 minus 8. 4 minus 8 is same as 14 minus 8. Why? Because you can't subtract from 4. So this reason, you need to borrow it. Now this will be 14 minus 8. 14 minus 8 is nothing but 6. Now right hand side last digit is 6. Left hand side last digit should be 6. 2 multiply with some number and you need to get 6. Look here, 2 6 times 12. So last digit is not 6. 2 7 times 14. 2 8 times. 2 8 times this will be 16. And I need to get last digit as 6. Now I can simply say that answer is 18. If I look at 9. 2 9 times 18. Wrong answer. 2 4 times 8. Wrong answer. So I can simply say that answer is nothing but 18. Now either you can simplify this. Or you can just verify using last digit. What I have done is I have verified using last digit. I did not do the calculation. If you want to do the calculation, you can do calculation also. If you calculate 6 square, it will be 36. 36 into 3 is equal to 18 into 8, which is nothing but 80 plus 64. 80 plus 64, which will be 144. 144 minus question mark into 2. If you simplify this one, question mark into 2 is equal to 144 minus 36 into 3 is nothing but 90 plus 18, 108. Now, if you simplify this one, this will be question mark into 2 is equal to. If you simplify this one, we will come to know that answer is nothing but 18. Okay. Either you can do all this calculation or simply what you will do, just verify the last hit. If you verify the last hit, even without doing the calculation also, you can get the answer. Okay. Very simple question. Look at the next one. 16 into 54 divided by 36 plus 6 equal to how much? Just a simple calculation, calculate it. This is 16 into 54 divided by 36 plus 6. Now 4 cancels here 4 times, 4 cancels here 9 times. And 54 cancels in 9 how many times? 6 times. Now 6, 4 times 24, 24 plus 6. Now this is nothing but 30. So answer is nothing but 30. Very simple and basic question. Just stick to your basics and make sure that you are good in your basics. Then you can calculate this question in just 2 seconds of time. Very simple one. Okay. Look at the next one. 11 square plus 6 square plus question mark equal to 34. Sorry, plus question mark. Uh, sorry, 11 square plus 6 square equal to question mark plus 34. We are supposed to find what is the value of question mark. Either you can calculate it or you can verify the last digit. Okay, it's up to you. If you calculate 11 square will be 121 and this is nothing but 6 square 36. Okay, 121 plus 36. And if you look here, if it come to the other side, now this is going to be plus 34 changes to minus 34. Now plus 36 minus 34 is nothing but plus 2. Now 121 plus 2 is nothing but 1, 2, 3. So simply you can say answer is 1, 2, 3. Even this calculation is also not required. 6 square is 36. 36 minus 34 is 2. 121 plus 2 answer is nothing but 123. Very simple basic question. Let's look at the next one. 36% of 180 
divided by 0.4 equal to how much? And look at this is a very simple question, but many of the guys try to make it complicated. Look here. If we observe this one, this is nothing but 36 percentage of 36 percent of 180 divided by 0 0.4. Okay, if you observe here, off is nothing but multiplication. Okay, off is multiplication. Now, percentage represents percentage represent divided by 100. So, that is the reason what I am doing is like I will cancel percentage and this zero and this decimal point. Now, you are just left out with calculation 36 into 18 divided by 4. Now, 36 cancels in 4 how many times? 9 times. 9 into 18, which is nothing but 90 plus 72, which is nothing but 162. So, answer is 162. Very simple question. Just try to make calculation simple. What I have done is, I have cancelled this percentage. Why? Because percentage is nothing but divided by 100. Okay? Now, what I have done is, percentage cancelled with this 0 and this decimal point. Now, what happened? 2 zeros and 2 zeros gets cancelled. Now, you are left with 36 into 18 divided by 4. When you simplify this, you will come to know that answer is 162. Okay? Very simple question. If you guys like the video, click on the like button and try to share our videos with maximum number of persons. Okay? Next one, look here. 12 by 13 off. Off is nothing but simply multiplication. 143 divided by 6 minus 12 equal to how much? Look here. Now, 143 cancels in 13 how many times? 11 times. Okay. Now, this will be 12 into 11 divided by 6 minus 12. Right. Now, 12 cancels in 6 how many times? 2 into 11 is 22. 22 minus 12 is 10. Very simple question. But don't forget always you are supposed to follow bot mass rule. Without following bot mass rule, you are not supposed to solve simplification questions as of your wish. Just to follow bot mass rule and do simple calculations. But the only thing is like, if the calculation is complicated, try to be smart. If it is simple, try to go with basic. But try to do as fast as possible. In examination, everything is like time. Time is important factor. So, you need to do them within the time. If you need to do them within the time, always you need to be smart and you need to be accurate. Meanwhile, you need to be fast in your basics as well. Once if your basics are strong and if you are really fast in that, then you can solve these questions in just fraction of seconds. Let's look at the next one. 44 into 50 percent of 70 minus 289 divided by 17 into 2 equal to x. So, we are supposed to find what is the value of x. Now, look here 50 percent of 70. 50 percent of 70 is nothing but 35. 289 cancels in 17 how many times? 17 times, right? Now, if you simplify this one, this will be 44 into 35 minus 17 into 2. Why? Because 17 into 2, 17 into 2, this will be 34, right? Is equal to x. Now, look here. Don't worry that 44 into 35 is how much. Don't do calculation. Always try to be smart. Look here. 4 into 5 is 20, where last digit is nothing but 0. 0 minus last digit is how much? 4. Now, 0 minus 4, I can't do. I will take borrow. Now, this will be 10. 10 minus 4 is nothing but 6. So, last digit should be 6. Check last rate 6. Last rate 6, you have only one option. So, answer will be 1506. So, simple, whenever you have calculation complicated, either try to go with last digit. If last digit is same, then what you need to do? You need to come across with digital sum. Already I have explained some examples based upon digital sum also. And there are some more examples which are going to come as well. And digital sum is a like excellent concept. We'll come across with digital sum concept in the next upcoming videos. Okay. Let us look at the next one. X percent of 800 plus 348 equal to 980. So, we are supposed to find what is the value of X. Okay. Now, simply what I will do is like percentage 2 zeros gets cancelled. Now, this will be X into 8 plus here last rate is how much? Last rate is 8 is equal to here last rate is how much? 0. Okay. Now, if you observe here, I need to get last rate as 0. If I need to get last rate as 0, now this should be 2. If this is 2, 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 means last rate will be 0. Left hand side will be 0, right hand side will be 0. Now, if I need to make this as a 2, if I need to make this as 2, then 8 plus 2 will be 10, which is like last rate 0. Now, let us check which one will give us last here. This is 2, which means 8 should multiply with some last rate. I need to get 2. 8 1 times 8, this is not 2. 8 6 times 48, this is not 2. 
8 3 times 24 this is not true 8 9 times 72 yes this is going to be my answer and if you look at 8 3 times 24 this is also wrong answer okay so you can simply say that it is going to be 79 why because if x is 79 last it will be 9 8 9 times 72 i am getting 2 2 plus now this is 8 2 plus 8 is 10 10 means last it will be 0 left hand side last it is 0 right hand side last it is 0 that's it okay never try to go with complicated calculation always try to do things as simple as that if you don't have any other way then you need to do calculation always don't try to do calculation try to avoid as much as calculation and try to be smart so that you can score maximum marks in short span of time let's look at the next one 60 percent of question mark minus square root of 324 equal to triple two okay we need to find what is this question mark now 324 is nothing but 18 square is nothing but 324 so square root of 324 is 18 now when 18 is like minus 18 minus 18 go to the other side this will be plus 18 plus 18 means triple 2 plus 18 now this is nothing but 240 okay now look here 60 percent of what is 240 look here 60 percent of what 60 percent of 400 60 percent of 400 is nothing but 240 why because you need to know what is this question mark now 60 percent of question mark is nothing but 240 now 60 percent of 400 is nothing but 240 just a simple question just simple okay let's look at the next one 6482.1 into 0 0.02 plus 2281.7 minus question mark is equal to 882.321 plus 1439.31 we are asked to find what is this question mark okay now if you observe here now to calculate these numbers numbers are like really complicated and calculation will become complicated so i will not calculate the complication uh, i will not make this calculation complicated so what i will do is like i will try to verify the last digit now if you observe here in all of this last digit are same as all of these last digit are same now i will go with the concept of digital sum okay let us look at digital sum if you look here 8 plus 1 is 9 neglect it 6 plus 4 is 10 10 plus 2 is 12 12 means 1 plus 2 3 into now if you look here now here digital sum digital sum whether you have decimal point percentage it's not a matter digital sum is nothing but combining all the numbers and making it into single digit that's it now here digital sum is nothing but two here you have addition so addition whatever the sign you have you need to come across the same sign 8 plus 1 is 9 2 plus 7 is 9 neglect it finally you have this is 2 minus question mark is equal to 8 plus 1 is 9 okay uh, look here 8 plus 8 plus 2 now this is nothing but two nines okay neglect it now you are left with 3 plus 2 plus 1 which is 6 6 plus now this is 9 neglect it in the similar way if you observe here uh, what is the digital sum here uh, 4 plus 3 uh, this is like 10 10 plus 2 12 12 means 1 plus 2 this is like 3 okay now calculate it if you calculate it this is like 6 so 6 6 gets cancelled now minus question mark is equal to if plus 2 go to the other side this will be minus 2 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 is nothing but 1 now if you observe here minus question mark is equal to 1 now which means question mark is equal to minus 1 look here when question mark is minus 1 now many of the guys get worried actually what is this minus 1 digital sum minus 1 means generally digital sum will not be negative value if you get digital sum minus that is like negative value always what you need is like subtract from 9 when you subtract from 9 this negative value will be converted into positive value now this is minus 1 subtract it from 9 9 minus 1 9 minus 1 is nothing but 8 which means digital sum is nothing but 8 okay very simple whenever you come across negative digital sum if you come across negative digital sum simply what you need is like subtract from 9 when you subtract it from 9 you can convert the negative value to positive value that is the reason 9 minus 1 which is nothing but 8 digital sum is 8 which means for question digital sum is 8 for question digital sum is 8 so answer also should have digital sum 8 let us check if you check this is 9 neglect 8 plus 1 9 neglect 5 plus 1 is 6 now this is wrong answer why because digital sum is 6 now if you look here this is 9 this is 9 now here digital sum is 5 wrong answer okay this is 9 this is 9 and here digital sum is 8 even we need digital sum 8 even i have got digital sum 8 now let us look at this one this is 9 
3 plus 6 9 here digital sum is 2 wrong answer now this is 7 plus 2 9 this is 3 plus 3 plus 1 digital sum is 7 even this is wrong answer which means i need digital sum as 8 digital sum 8 i got for option 89.711 so answer for this question will be 89.711 okay very very simple question if you are going to do it normally it will take us lot of time and you are going to waste lot of time in examination simply whenever you have calculation in this way don't try to calculate the numbers and make it as complicated simply use digital sum or last digit if i verify the last digit last digit is same that is the reason what i have used i have used the digital sum technique when i use a digital sum i came to know that for question digital sum is nothing but 8 for question digital sum 8 means for answer also digital sum should be 8 and we have option 89.711 Digital sum as 8. So answer will be 89.711. Okay. Let's look at the next one. Now this is like 2 root 2 into 3 root 3 into 7 root 2 into 4 root 3 equal to how much? Now look here. Root 2 into root 2 is nothing but 2. Okay. Root 2 into root 2 is nothing but 2. Similarly, root 3 into root 3 is nothing but 3. Now just multiply the numbers. If you multiply the numbers, 2 into 2 will be 4. 4 3 times 12 12 7 times 84 or you can just multiply or you can just verify the last read okay if calculation is going to be complicated just verify the last read if you verify the last read this will be 2 into 3 into 7 into 4 into okay just observe here these are like actually given in the question but if you observe here root 2 root 2 is nothing but 2 extra similarly root 3 root 3 so 3 extra okay so if you multiply this 2 into 3 last it will be 6 6 into 7 42 last it will be 2 2 into 4 8 last it will be 8 8 into 2 last it will be 16 why because last it will be 6 8 2 times 16 last it will be 6 6 into 3 18 last it will be 8 now check for the option last it 8 last it 8 you have only one option which is 1008 so you can mark it as answer is 1008 very simple question just root 2 root 2 is nothing but 2 root 3 root 3 is nothing but 3 and multiply the numbers 2 into 3 into 7 into 4 into 2 into 3 when you multiply you need to get last digit as 8 last digit 8 is nothing but 1008 let us look at the next one next question is nothing but 7878 divided by 26 into 13 minus triple 3 equal to how much now just simplify this one if you simplify this one 26 goes here how many times 26 3 times will be 78 okay now this will be 303 303 into 13 minus triple 3 okay now look here 303 into 3 into 13 is nothing but 3939 why because 13 3 times is 39 so it is reason 303 into 13 is nothing but 3939 3939 minus triple 3 okay so answer is nothing but how much 3606 okay so 3606 which is option d very very simple basic question just if you simplify this 7878 7878 divided by 20 is nothing but 303 into 13 minus triple 3 when you simplify this one answer is nothing but 3606 okay next one so this will be your last question for the session okay we are going to solve the last question observe here 40 percent of 5 by 11 of 352 now you are supposed to find what is this question mark okay now 40 percent is nothing but 2 by 5 into this is nothing but 5 by 11 into this is nothing but 352 okay 5 5 gets cancelled 352 11 how many times cancels here it cancels here 32 times okay 32 into 2 is nothing but 64 okay now question mark square is equal 64 now question mark is nothing but 8 okay very simple question now whatever the questions we have discussed in this session all these are nothing but questions that was asked in rrb examinations and rb examinations and sb examinations simplification is one of the important topic for all bank aspirants irrespective of the bank why because in simplifications you are going to get minimum five questions and maximum 10 questions if you are writing IBPS clerk, SBA clerk, clerk level examinations, sometimes what happens is like you are going to get 10 questions also. And if you really observe here, you can score these 10 questions in just 3 to 4 minutes of time and not spend more time also. But the only thing is like 
you need to know the smart way of solving these questions once you know the smart tricks then what you can do is like instead of simplifying it you will come across with some smart tricks and you can solve these questions in a fraction of seconds but if you are going to do it all the time it consumes a lot of time okay so what all you guys need to do is like if you like this session click on the like button and try to share our videos with as many friends as possible try to share with your friends and family members who are preparing for government jobs also okay and one more important thing is like as i have mentioned already we have started new batches for ibps po and ibps clerk and similarly we have started mains batches for rrb po and rrb clerk also if any of you guys are interested you can download channel logics app from google play store or we have provided app link in the description you can download it or you can or else you can call to the given number number is like 9696768793 you can call to this number if you're interested and we are going to come across with best and unique techniques in the next upcoming videos thank you have a nice day with the next session bye bye